it's going to be very interesting because we are we're going to visit a lot of places in Damam. Uh, Damam has a nice beach. We are planning to visit Jubail Beach and uh, Kobar Beach. So please wait for it. And uh, happy Eid again to all the viewers. And do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. The best time to start from Riyadh to Damam is after 3.30 p.m. Only then you will not have that sun rays directly hitting on your face. You will have a very relaxing and soothing journey because you will not have that uh, sultry feeling and all uh, tiredness because you are traveling against the sun. So the best time to start is by afternoon from Riyadh to Damam. On the way to Damam, you can see only desert on both the sides. It's desert and desert only, nothing else. Also, you can see few camels roaming here and there. In this video, you might notice it's little yellowish in shade. Uh, I haven't added any filter for this. It's because there was a heavy sandstorm at this time. That's why it's all yellow in color. In few seconds, you can see a bridge coming ahead. Uh, that bridge is called Camel Crossing Bridge. You can also notice few signboard that says camel crossing zone. This bridge is constructed exclusive for the camel to cross from one side of the desert to another without getting hit by the vehicle. We touched the Mum border exactly by 6.25 pm. We were little late to reach their home exactly during the iftar time. So we ended our last day of Ramadan fasting in the car itself. So as soon as we ended our fast, we thought uh, why not listen to some music because it was so boring whole day without any entertainment because it's not appropriate to listen to music while you are fasting. We offered our Eid al-Fitr special namaz in a masjid nearby his brother's home. It was so nice to perform namaz with uh, the Jamaat. And it was so nice to watch all the kids, um, you know, sharing sweets to each other. His brother's kids had received a lot of gifts, uh, chocolates and goodie bags from other kids who had come for namaz with their parents. And it was extremely adorable to watch kids uh, in nice dresses. Few kids had come in a really nice Saudi attire. So it was cute to watch them and they were all happy because it's Ramadan. I was little uh, uncomfortable to shoot this video because if someone notices that I'm uh, shooting a video of them then it will become a great issue. So I was not okay to capture this video but however I'm sure I'm not capturing anyone's particular face except for the kids. This is uh, my husband's cousin, brother and family. First daughter's name is Hafsa and the little one's name is Farah. Both of them were so happy to receive so many gifts and chocolates at a time. So they were on ninth cloud all happy and dancing. For breakfast, we had uh, Afghani roti, full tamis and kilaba. So after that, we went back to nice sleep because we were all awake whole night. We prepared biryani only by 4 pm in the evening. So after we got up from sleep, we were so hungry. I thought I'll capture the procedure of making biryani and uh, while eating biryani, but I was so hungry. I had no patience to shoot all that. So finally the biryani won over my vlog. The next day of Ramadan, we plan to visit Jubail beach. Jubail is 96 kilometers away from Damam. You can reach in an hour via road from Damam to Jubail. Jubail is also an industrial city. There are so many uh, petrochemical companies in Jubail. 
A very popular organization called uh, Royal Commission is also situated in Jubail only. We have reached Jubail city and we are heading towards Al Nekhil beach in Jubail. I just love that beach because the grass in the beach are so green. I love the way they maintain the grass. The beach side is so nice and clean and also the fresh air, the nice view of the beach. It's fantastic. So if you are in Dhamam or Riyadh, you should definitely visit Jubail beach once in a while. When it comes to enjoying in beach or in any water based theme park, it's only meant for men's and kids because uh, ladies, we cannot uh, you know open up and enjoy so much uh, by the beach side because it's a public place and it's uh, Saudi Arabia you should really mind your body language and gesture and the way you behave I love the air and also the deep blue sea My husband just loves to get himself into the water, be it waterfalls or getting inside the waves. He just loves it more than the small kids. He'll become like one. almost sunset it's dusky and nice after 5 30 in the evening the security guards will never allow anybody to be inside the water they are very strict about it so if you want to enjoy in the beach you must come a little early and wrap up by 5 30 or say 5 45 not more than that you are not allowed to be inside the water after that We all had a great time at Al Nakhil beach in Jubail. On the way back to Dhamam, we found this place that says Al Nakhil beach with a lot of fountains and lighting effects. You can see a lot of sculptures like this in Saudi Arabia in every roundabout. I just love the fountain, the lighting effects and the sculpture. And it's a perfect place to capture pictures and take videos.
I hope you all enjoyed this Jubail Beach vlog. All these videos are taken on the first two days of uh, our Dhamam visit. The next two days we had been to Al Khubar and uh, we did some barbecue by the beach side. And we also took some amazing pictures and videos by the desert. So please wait for it and stay tuned for Dhamam Road Trip Vlog 2. And do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Until then, take care and stay healthy.